everyone, welcome to Sims Fosters. In this episode, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's going to be a little bit shorter episode, I figured. But, you never know, I mean, things could change, but... but while we were away, Gabriella and Blaze both aged up off camera, so I thought I would edit up their looks and show them to you guys real quick. Um, and with Tiny Living Stuff Pack just coming out and uh, me getting it, I had a couple new hairstyles, which I really like this one for Gabriella. And so Gabriella was born in the last episode, um, or a couple episodes ago, I'm sorry. It was Jack and Fatia's daughter, and she really didn't come out with the correct, like, skin tone between, uh, Jack and Fatia. So I fixed that issue as well. Um, but she, this is her everyday look. I think she looks really cute. This is her formal, her sleepwear, her party wear, her swimwear, her hot weather, and her cold weather. Now, her older brother, Blaze, aged up as well. And so I'll show you him. He's now a teenager. And originally it gave him the insane trait which i didn't like so i changed it to cheerful and art lover um but this is his everyday look obviously he has magical powers but this is his everyday look he looks very similar to his dad i think he looks like a younger version of his dad honestly but he has a little bit off about him like so he's a little bit different than his dad's hairstyle but he, he looks really like his dad this is his formal this is his athletic, his sleepwear, his party wear, his swimwear, his hot weather, and his cold weather. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the game now and actually go and see if there's possibly a new mermaid baby in the mucks between Isaac and his now girlfriend, Iris. Alright, so we're here. I thought, first things first, let's go ahead and see if they resulted in having a child. Because I know that they uh, tried for a baby in the last episode, him and his girlfriend. And... Eh. Oh yeah, that's right. Kristoff was his alien son. But Devin... Devon... Or Devin. Devin. They had. It looks like they had a little boy named Devin. So he does have another son. With his girlfriend Iris. May. Which means. Things are going to change very soon. With Isaac. Um, in this household. So I don't. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Maybe for now, because either obviously Isaac would want to be a part of his son's life. Um, hmm. Okay, we will address that in the later in this episode. But for now, let's focus on Jack because in the last episode we touched on Jack really trying to uh, focus on his. Um, eating disorder, and Fatia's like, Fatia actually confronted him and said, listen, you need to really start eating or it's going to do serious damage to your body, and we're going to go to the doctors otherwise, so Jack's like, but I constantly feel like I'm too big or all that, she said about, sweetheart, I don't care how you look. I love you for you, and that is it. I'm getting uh, their little deer back in the house. But she's like, I don't care how you look. She said, I'm with you for the rest of my life. We have kids together. We have a son. We have multiple children together. I don't care how you look you are beautiful to me 
no matter what. So, I think Jack's starting to realize, like, even though he ha he does, he's still going to struggle. Like, it's not going to go away like that. But he's starting to realize that his main person that he was worried about, which was Fatia, is going to care for him no matter what. Um, Gabrielle, though, she needs some... Then, oh, she's cold. Okay, she's cold. So we need to adjust. Is this one warm? Yeah, it's one warmer. Why is there, like, snow white stuff on the ground, though? I don't know. Meanwhile, maybe... Maybe we can use Isaac temporarily for a minute. Mermaid. Call clear skies. But Isaac's like up here thinking um, about what he wants to do about... Because he has a son and obviously he wants to be a part of his life. And he said it doesn't have to move forever. But, he wants to potentially move out just for a little bit, just so that he can get to know his son. Because, this house is a little bit too crowded right now. And, so he's going to temporarily move out. And he's going to have a talk with Jack and Iris and... Than the kids and kind of say his goodbyes for now. He said, but this isn't goodbye forever. He'll be back. He said, it's just, I have a son. I want to go spend time with him and his mom. And Fatih's like, well, if you ever have a spot where you need to come back, you know you're welcome here. Our kids love you. And we love you. You're always welcome back here, Isaac. No matter what, you're always welcome back here. And Blaze playing with his little sister. That's absolutely adorable in the background. But these guys kind of been like mentors. They helped Isaac out a lot. And so now Isaac is going to go ahead and just temporarily... Um, Move on out and spend some time with his son. We're going to also go ahead and go along with him for a little bit so we can actually meet his son. Um, he's going to be a part of this series here and there. Um, he's going to eventually come back with his son and them. But for now, he has to go ahead and move out um, and head back to Solani. To spend a little bit of his time with his son. I believe that it's this one. Yes. Devin May is his son. So I'm going to pick this up when we get back. Or when we get there. Okay, so Devin is here. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, I did not know whether or not they had a baby. I didn't even know if it was a boy or a girl. I let it up to the Sims to choose. And this is Isaac and him spending their first time together. And this is her roommate, or his Things from you might remember Jasmine. Jasmine was one of the girls that uh them stayed with, but are that Kai liked, but
And I don't think that Jasmine's going to be too happy now because Jasmine has to um, pretty much get the smaller room now because these guys are going to be growing. I think, in a way, I'm, as much as I want to try for another baby, honestly, um, I kind of figured that they would hold out because they have another, they already have a son. So I'm not going to do that, but for now, they only have one son, and I think this is what Isaac wants, to spend a little bit of time with his girlfriend, um, and I do have a plan on bringing her, these guys back into the fams, um, and all that, but it's going to be a little bit, and these guys are still going to be a part of the series, don't worry, but, uh, for now, temporarily, he wanted just to come spend time with his girlfriend and his son, and go from there, so I'll pick this up once we get back to the regular gang. Okay, so, she's like, Fatia and them, or about, we're back, but anyways, but Fatia's sitting here like, I've been looking up some plans about potentially what we could do about this eating disorder, and Jack's like, okay, and she said, I was thinking maybe if you would just eat one meal a day, for now, that's a start, so, and he said about that, uh, he hopes, he said about he's gonna go ahead and go grab something to eat now, um, so that he, he said, cause it's been quite some time since anything like that's happened. She said, okay, I'll get the baby ready for bed. Um, so we're going to have Fatia tend to the baby. Meanwhile, Dax has to go to the bathroom. And once, now that Dax and Blaze are older, like, teens, I have a lot of plans for them coming up in the next coming episodes. But for now, I have another person coming in very soon um, to this series. And it's going to be another foster kid. Um, that's kind of the whole part of this series, as I originally stated. Um, I don't want it to be a baby, though. I don't want it to be a baby. I think it would be better if it's a child. Um... But as for Blaze, I... That's Yoda's bed. Okay, so this is your room then, Blaze. Since it is really early... Um... In the morning, so... But Jack has officially eaten his first thing in a while, so he's feeling a lot better. Alright, so I'm going to have everybody head to bed and I'll pick this up in the morning. Okay, everybody, it is Christmas um, in The Sims, actually. I didn't realize it was this close to Christmas in The Sims, but we have to um, pick up a foster child. Um, and... Um... How about, mm, I want an older child, so I'm going to say this girl here, Inslee, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'll eventually learn how to pronounce it because I'm not going to change her name because that's what the Sims says her name is. Um. But we had to go pick her up for uh, Christmas. This is the day we had to pick her up. She's our new foster child. Um, and for Blaze, I kind of figured Blaze wants to spend a little bit of time fest with his festiveness. Um, so we'll focus on him first. Um, I also went ahead and did a little bit of this. I didn't. I just kind of bought an already made up one. And some uh, presents for everybody. So since Dax is up, I kind of thought that these two would be really close. Um, and they could 
potentially be a little bit festive. Give each other a gift. Um, so he's going to give him a glimmer stone. I don't know really what it will do. Honestly, I've never used it. I think it takes you to Glimmer Brook, though. So that'll get his festiveness taken care of. And then... Maybe he can open up a gift. Uh, Fatia's bringing home a new... Um, or not ad president. Okay. We'll figure it out. So, for now, she's not adopted. So, her last name's Williamson. Um, we will open a present. And then we'll go ahead and move on to... The next person, which will be, um, we'll go down the line this way. So next will be Yoda. So he got a ceramic cookie jar. I mean, if that floats your boat, I mean, he's pretty happy about it. Uh, Yoda, so you have to be festive as well. I kind of thought you could do it with your older brother Blaze, since Blaze and you are really close as well. You can give him a gift of... Okay, I don't think he's going to want that one. Um, maybe... Let's see if there's anything else you could do that's festive. Um, you can share Winterfest excitement. Maybe that counts. And this is the new... Uh, foster child that we have. Um, it's a girl named Insley. I'm or Insley. I don't know how to pronounce it quite yet, but they even got her a little gift as well. So I believe. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy about something. Oh, he's stressed about strangers. Okay, that's fine. Um, Yoda's birthday's coming up soon as well, so we'll have to check up on that. He loves to open up presents as well, so. So, why don't you go ahead and open up a present? Try and calm down. See what you get, bud. Didn't say what he got. Okay, it didn't say what he got, but okay. Next up will be... Right now, I'm going to call her A. Because I, until I learn how to pronounce her name, I don't know. To call her. But I think... That we will... Um... Share Winterfest excitement with Jack as well, then. But she got an enormous tribal bite, whatever that is. Um, but she's super excited about that. Um, okay, Gabriella is still sleeping, so next up is Jack. Jack has to do a little bit more, though. He has to get have a festive spirit, obviously open up a gift, um, and all that, but... Why don't you go ahead and give your wife some, um, a magic book. Maybe she'll like it. And then, Fatia, you are actually almost done. You can cook the grand meal. It's almost Dax's birthday as well. 
And we're going to have to do a tofu uh, thing then because Dax is a vegetarian. So they're going to um, equip him as well. So while she cooks that, we can continue focusing on... Oh, Jack, they're actually done. So, Fatia, you just got to give our open a gift then. Jack, did you open a gift already, Jack? Okay, oh, well, I didn't see you open a gift, so we're going to have you open a gift. He got a scramble micro. Oh, he doesn't like that. He's not too keen on his gift. Um. Dax, did I do you yet? No, I didn't. Okay. So, Dax, I think Dax is like a perfect person. He knows what it's like to grow up in, um, the, um, what's it called, the foster system, so he's actually going to go ahead and buy a Pacific, um, gift, and give it to his new little sister, in a sense, um, because he knows what it's like to be in the foster system. And he's been looking up about her. And he find, he found out one thing in particular. That she loves to read. And she loves flowers and superheroes. So I kind of thought he would buy her a female superhero action figure. I think that'd be kind of cute in a way. Okay, I think she liked it. I think she did. But I actually need to check something because I don't even know what her actual traits are, honestly. So she's a good. So that's good. Um, so Dax went ahead and gave that. So now Dax is actually going to go ahead and open up one of his gifts. Now, while we wait for dinner to be finished... So he got a Blooming Beauty wall painting. He seems to be okay with it. Is there anything you can actually do? Oh, you could turn on. Oh. Okay, you can sing. Um. Maybe the kids would get around the thing just to sing. I think that'd be a cute little um, Christmas thing to see. I've never actually known you could do this, honestly. I think it's supposed to be we wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, but, anywho. We're going to go ahead and call everybody to the grand meal.
and get Gabriella up as well because she's been sleeping for a while and she needs to eat um, as well. So everybody is going to go ahead and grab some dinner. wholesomeness right here Gabriella is coming she's just slowly making her way downstairs and Jack since you are finished is there anything else you have to do bud no you do not okay so, you can go ahead and clean that up. That'd be great. And another thing is, he ate. So that's good. He's starting to get a little bit better with his stuff. Um, and then the baby needs a shower then when she's done eating. Okay, Fatia, the only thing you have to do yet is open up your gift now, because you haven't opened your gift yet. And she got an Isla... Parcido postcard. Interesting. And so I think these guys they're not going to do anything drastically but I think they just are going to Talk with one another, spend a little bit of time together, and she's like, I really have something to tell you, uh, and it's not bad. Um, I don't think I could have ever made life like all these beautiful things that we've done with our children and our foster kids in the past and currently. I honestly think I couldn't do it by myself, and I'm glad I have you. And ultimately, that's ultimate goals and sweetness. Um, Gabriella is upset. Let's go ahead and check up on her. Um, first things first, we have to change her diaper. Um, and then um, we might have to give her a bath. Give Gabriella a bath. Okay, I think Blaze is actually, so. 
That's fine, that's actually helping us out. Oh yeah, Blaze is giving her a bath, so we're good. Yep, Blaze is giving her a bath. That's good. Okay. So. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and end it out here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.